So today I'm going to be talking about a networked software KVM solution that actually works. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and today we're going to be talking about ShareMouse Pro. For those that are ever interested in actually getting this application, uh, just a heads up, you can go down into the description on YouTube where you'll have affiliate links to, uh, towards that. Or if you're not watching on YouTube, you can go to tqaweekly.com slash se8ep37, which will take you to show notes where the links will also exist as well. It also helps out the show and they are not sponsoring this and I didn't ask their permission, but of course I don't really have to because I have almost nothing negative to say about them. So let's start off with the fact that I have been using them for two months, ever since they brought me the attention of this application and that they actually gave me a key. Yes, they gave me the key for some other reason. And I continued using it since the application effectively works as they say it's supposed to. I have been a long time Synergy user. Synergy 1 does work as many people do know, but Synergy 2 is buggy as all hell. So this is going to serve as a review of the application and of course a very fast tutorial for those who have never used ShareMouse that don't understand how to use it. But many of you will understand that that part of it is almost a joke since their UI and UX, so user interface and user experience seem to be dead on. So let's start off with my desktop. So let's see. We'll go and right click, click on monitor manager. The monitor manager is simple to use. All you have to do is drag and drop your screens wherever you want them to go. And of course, on the other screens, other than the one that you're currently on, they are clearly identified. That way you know that you're correctly placing the screens in the correct position. This also means that you could do this pitch drunk and don't have to worry about anything because you can always set it back correctly after. No harm, no foul. Then we have the settings. We'll start off basically with switching. Switching is, by the way, the action of going from one computer to the other. Obviously, you can have multiple screens. So switching is what occurs when you go from one computer to the next. You can equalize the monitor dimensions, which I suggest you don't. You can wrap mouse and pointers and monitors. So it would end up going around and around and around, which by the way, I don't enable it because you can end up getting lost. Then you have in full screen, if you want to prevent switching in maximized in monitor corners. And of course, without the button, whatever you select being controlled and double tap monitor board to override. Now I only enabled the control. Most of you might not even want to do that. The reason why I don't do that is I actually stream and that means I want to keep the mouse inside of the, the actual screen of the computer I'm using because when you're playing a video game, last thing you want is your mouse cursor to be on a different computer. So unless I'm pressing control, it doesn't actually leave the actual screen. That's enough for switching. We got exchange. Data exchange is the first part of this. It allows you to drag and drop and clipboard synchronization. Clipboard synchronization is fairly straightforward. And drag and drop, let's just point this out. While they do work, they only work for small stuff. Really big stuff wouldn't work anyway because of the way the exchange between computers would actually be. So if you wanted to transfer over a photo or a text file or something, it will definitely work. Something that Synergy 2 doesn't have. But if it's a really big like movie file, it won't work. But then again, you're expecting too much of the application and of course your Windows or Mac client if you think that would even work. In that case, use a cloud drive or a shared folder. Then you can also synchronize events on computers. So shut down, suspend, lock, PC, screensaver, and of course the unlock login. Um, really neat thing. I don't know why screensaver is there. I haven't used one in a long time. If this is being used in a public setting, may I suggest that you lock your computer if you're going to be gone a long way, um, <clears throat> gone a long time because, well, that's how people get hacked and infected by having strangers use the computers. Then we have, of course, network. Uh, not too much to say on this. 
you can get your updates, obviously, and I do suggest that you keep these updated. And you also have the security where only clients with the same password can connect to this client. Uh, just a fun note, that's also a great way of keeping people from pranking you. Because if they can install another one of those uh, sessions on a different computer, they'd be able to mess with you. Put a password and they can't mess with you at all. And as long as you lock your PC, nobody can change that password. So keep everything secure and you will be fine. And obviously you see that we also have clients, which is not really important because it automatically populates and miscellaneous, which is how you can control some other stuff. And that's about it. What do I think of ShareMouse? ShareMouse is essentially the application that Synergy 2 should have been. Clean, pristine, works, not buggy, does exactly as intended. The only thing being that it doesn't support Linux, which, by the way, you're a hop, skip, and a jump away if you can support Mac, by the way. I know it's BSD, and that's more like Unix than Linux, but it's still not all that far away. And then, of course, there's the thing about the mouse. In Windows, you absolutely need a mouse to be plugged in to the computer in order for it to not have that cursor bug. I just plug in a cheap mouse in it. ShareMouse does not have any dedicated server like Synergy 1 did. Synergy 2 doesn't have a dedicated server either, which means that you can leave all the mouse, all your, your mice and keyboards plugged in without any problems. It also means that in theory, you could unplug everything from every other computer and actually use it. And since it does work even outside of your actual session, so while you're not even logged into Windows yet, you'll be able to log into all of your computers no problem, even if you only had one keyboard and mouse, provided you have a mouse plugged into every other computer. Just saying. And obviously that means that the programs actually work, minus for that one little bug. So. It costs a little bit more than Synergy 2, which is fine. It works. It works as intended. Really clean, really nice user experience. But that's the only real things I have to say about it. it doesn't support Linux. You need to plug a mouse and costs a little bit more. Besides that, program is actually fairly amazing. Like this episode if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Share with those that you think you benefit from this. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or get on my website, tqaweekly.com and use the contact form there. And of course, if you want to make this show better and become part of the family, you can always go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash tqaweekly. And patrons get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance of everyone else and other stuff that I'll eventually put there. So... Thank you for watching and goodbye.